Hi, I'm Ryan Delgado. Welcome back to my studio. Today I want to talk to you about underpaintings. So what is an underpainting anyway? Well, I want to take you through all of the stages of a painting that I go through uh, from start to finish. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to break this up into a series of videos where I show you each stage individually. And the first one is going to be about the underpainting. Now, throughout all of this, one of the things that I hope to do is to define certain terms for you guys. The fancy art words that, uh, that we like to throw around that maybe not everybody is familiar with. Words like underpainting. So, the thing about underpaintings is that a lot of different artists will use this term in a lot of different ways. There really is no set definition of what an underpainting is supposed to be. Uh, in its broadest sense, you could say that the underpainting is just the, uh, the foundational, structural part of the painting. It's, uh, it's the first layer to a painting. If you think about it in terms of a house or a building, uh, in the way that uh, the foundation of the house is what the rest of the structure sits upon. The same is true with an underpainting. Uh, it is the, uh, the, the foundational structural part that the rest of the painting uh, is built upon. So you may remember in my studio tour video uh, where I was talking about my palettes and, uh, and I pointed out one of them as being the palette that I specifically use uh, for my underpaintings. And I threw out uh, a couple of different names for it. Uh, I called it my drawing with paint, I call it uh, my umber stage. Basically all of this means the same thing to me. So for me, an underpainting is basically a drawing with raw umber. Uh, now when we think about drawings, we think of using dry medium, uh, such as charcoal or graphite. Uh, this is basically just a drawing using a wet medium with oil paint. So I start out every painting that I do with a thin, uh, oiled out, transparent layer of raw umber over the entire surface of the canvas. Then I proceed to uh, draw the figure using my brush and a little bit of a thicker, heavier uh, body raw umber that, uh, that is just slightly thinned down. Uh, from its consistency straight out of the tube. And, uh, and I like to use walnut oil for that. So once I have a fairly well established figure in terms of its placement on the canvas, I use a rag to wipe out the areas of light on the figure. And I'll use varying amounts of pressure uh, to represent areas that are uh, just mid-tone values all the way up to the areas of the, the lightest lights or the highlights. And so after I've gone back and forth uh, refining all the areas of, of shadow shapes and uh, refining the edges and using my rag to uh, uh, refine all the areas of light, basically I have what you see here which is the finished uh, painted drawing that I'm ready to set aside uh, and allow it to dry before I move on to the next stage. And by the way, this uh, technique that I'm talking about, this method of drawing uh, where you use a rag to basically rub out the areas of light is what's known as a reductive drawing. Alright, so that concludes uh, this first part of the painting, uh, the underpainting stage. Stay tuned for the uh, next stage where I'll be talking about the grisaille. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless you all.